we should begin begin we should begin you should begin something have come in preaching and somehow uh we have to endure this and we're taking so much trouble to travel and uh, spread the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Manobhishta, fulfilling his innermost desires, understanding his innermost desires, and trying to express those to the devotees. Um, Gurudev was asking me the other day how I first came to Bali, how I ended up here, because I, I got married here. <coughs> So I'd ca I came here with my Guru Maharaj in 1994 and after I had arranged to get married here he told me <coughs> that I should come back here and preach and um, I'm not so <coughs> foolish to think that I'm a preacher because he um, <coughs> His instructions, I tried to <coughs> take in as a whole what is given. And he said that a preacher, a true preacher is a Brajabasi, a resident of Vrindavan, somebody who has, <coughs> has Krishna in his heart and therefore he can give Krishna to others. <coughs> so, um, after his departure, we had to uh, continue his instructions to preach. So we should, uh, I was thinking, Rajanath Prabhu just gave me some, some thoughts came in my mind. There's a very nice purport in the first canto with Srila Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada, is saying that <coughs> we should give all assistance to preachers and assist them in their uh, their work of spreading Krishna consciousness in this material world because it is for this reason that they have come down from the spiritual world to inculcate Krishna consciousness, pure Krishna consciousness into the hearts of us conditioned souls and to do that he has to, the true preacher has to put himself in a very dangerous position because he puts himself in the hands of so many conditioned souls who don't really understand his inner feelings, uh, his moods and so he may be uh, put into so many dangerous situations but we should try uh, we see in the case with Gurudev, so much misunderstanding has come up with Srila Narayan Maharaj. He has come, so much misunderstanding has arisen. Some people think that uh, he is not in ISKCON, they say. But uh, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he is the founder of ISKCON and he has given definition what is ISKCON. It is a society free from envy. It is a so society, it is, it is not the International People. Society for God Consciousness, it is not the Society for Allah Consciousness, it is the Society for Krishna Consciousness. This was explained by our Guru Maharaj. And it's a society that is composed of pure Krishna conscious bhaktas. These devotees who have Krishna in their heart and can give Krishna to others. This is ISKCON, according to the definition of my Guru Maharaj and according to the definition of the founder chariots of ISKCON. <coughs> so, um, having understood this and trying to fulfill my Gurudev's order to preach, uh, we've invited Gurudev to come here, recognize him to be a pure bhakta, uh, that uh, these divisions people are saying 
that this is ISKCON, this is not ISKCON. He told us that this is not uh, this is not Vaishnav, this is not the understanding of pure devotees, this is uh, artificial partitions made by conditioned souls. And in the society of conditioned souls, we will not get any real benefit because we are spiritually blind. Just because somebody is carrying a danda or somebody has some big position in terms of friendship, society and love, this cannot help us in the spiritual line. So, according to what he's instructed me, uh, I've invited a real preacher to come here. And I hope the devotees in Bali here can take advantage of this. I know when Guru Maharaj was here last, he uh, many very... <coughs> we should hear with a submissive mood. <coughs> As my Guru Maharaj said, we should not try... Okay, pass it over to Guru Dev. I'll let the rule preacher preach. The birthday of Srila Narottam Thakur today? Yes. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. So, I think that. Oh, you can come. Bhagavan the Bhagat and all new. You, you, and because no. So Yeah. Uh. 